do not buy ships with real money in Star Citizen. For as long as I've played the game, people have asked, this is the game that you have to spend thousands of dollars to play, right? You can't buy ships in game? Don't you lose your ships after every wipe? Well, the answer is not anymore. You can buy ships in game, keep them for several patches, and if you know what you're doing, it's really easy. For reference, the last wipe was in September of 2020. The wipe before that was February of 2019, almost a year and a half, so you keep them for a long time. So now you're wondering, what's the best way to make in-game money so I can get those sweet, sweet JPEGs without stealing your mom's credit card? PVE bounty hunting. Here's how you do it. I'll be using a starter ship, the Aurora MR, with four 3MA cannons that I got from Dumpers Depot at Port Olisar. Cannons are bad for PvP, but they're very good for PvE. Now before we get started, this will take some practice and a bit of grinding. But once you get max bounty reputation, you'll be making enough money to buy whatever ship you want. How bounties work is super simple. You get a criminal target to take down. You fly to the location and you take them out. Some are in space, some are in atmosphere. But no matter what, you'll have to quantum jump to get there. I do like doing my bounties at Hurston or Crusader, but keep in mind that the certifications will take you in random places all over Stanton. So once you're in game, head to your contract manager and the first mission is under bounty hunting called Tracker Training Permit Certification. Once you do that, you'll be verified to do Very Low Risk Targets or VLRTs. This one was pretty easy. How it's going to work from here is you'll do X amount of VLRTs until you level up. You'll do a certification, then you'll do low rated threats and then another certification. Once you get medium threats unlocked, you'll have the chance to unlock group bounties. Now, this is where you make the most money. All it means is it's still a PVE bounty, but you kill three targets instead of one. From here, you'll do medium group bounties and then a certification, hard group bounties, and finally your very hard certification. At any point, you can go to the Delphi app in your Moby Glass. This is going to show you your progress on the bounty hunting and how close you are to unlocking the next rank. Once you've unlocked the very hard group bounties, with call to arms and bonuses, you'll be making over 70k per bounty. Now, there is extreme rated threats, but they have hammerheads in them. Personally, I think you can complete a very hard group bounty in the same amount of time in an Aurora as taking down just a hammerhead in the extreme rated threat. So sticking to very hard group bounties, I think is way faster. If you want to kill hammerheads though, be my guest. For reference, once you get to the very hard group bounties, it will take four to unlock a very coveted Rock DS, eight to unlock the Tumblr Nova Tonk, the most expensive ground vehicle, 11 for the Avenger Titan, 16 for the Gladius, 28 for the Sentinel, 29 for the Prospector, 67 for the C2 Starlifter, and on the higher end, 363 for the Anvil Carrick, and 440 for the 890 jump. It is a bit of a grind, but this is how you get multi hundred dollar ships without dumping loads of cash into the game. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to get more tutorials on this channel of how to get the most out of Star Citizen without paying for it. And if you have any more questions, feel free to come check out my Twitch channel where I stream almost every day. <gasps> he just blew up someone else's ship with a missile and missed me. Dude, that's <laughs> hilarious. There's a Harbin just staring at me there. He's on Overwatch. Yo! Hey, dude. Is this server not friendly? Someone just shot your ship. Kind of noticed that. I think it was that ballista. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I just walked away for a second. As soon as somebody launched a missile at Berks, then.